So the first phase of COVID vaccines are here and typically uh, everybody is like excited or you know uh, looking at ways to ensure that you know their family members whoever has a comorbidity or people who are older in the house you know whoever is right now eligible for getting a vaccine you know is getting the vaccine so people are right now very eager to ensure that people who can get the vaccine are given the vaccine right so uh, while while uh, we are thinking about this and there is a lot of information that is spreading over whatsapp and other social media talking about the ill effects of declarations that you make when you are getting vaccinated and that's what we are covering in this video we will help you understand all the impacts that the declaration that you make while taking a vaccine and the impact of the vaccine on your insurance policies that you already have. So question number one is, will an insurer be able to use the information, the declaration that you give uh, when uh, getting vaccinated against you or basically use it to not pay you a claim when there is a claim in the future? Uh, as far as we know, the only way an insurer can basically get information about your health and information of the declaration that you made when you got vaccinated are through you, right? If you give consent to information uh, to access, give access to information to any of these private enterprises or government enterprises, only then an insurer will be able to get through this information. We don't feel insurers will have direct access to any kind, any kind of such information. At the same time, it's very prudent to not basically make any misrepresentation just to get uh, an early vaccine uh, it doesn't make sense to do that because you know at any point in time if there is a fraud that an insurer is basically claiming right that there is a fraud in the claim that you have made then maybe an insurer would be able to get access to that kind of information and then basically there could be a lot of disputes and confusion right do not try to make any kind of misrepresentation just so that you get a vaccine early in your uh, in the queue right uh, we all will get vaccinated i'm sure the government is trying its best to ensure everybody gets a vaccine i think we should wait for our turn So the second question is what can happen if I declare a health condition uh, while basically getting vaccinated that occurred or I got diagnosed with after I took the policy. So let's say I bought the policy in 2005 and 2009 let's say I get uh, diagnosed with diabetes and now I'm getting this uh, vaccine and I declare that okay I have diabetes in, in, the, in the form that has been given to me. Does it impact uh, my health insurance and will it impact any claims so the answer one word answer to this is no uh, health insurance policies only would be concerned with diseases that have basically been diagnosed when you bought the policy and before you bought the policy if there are any diseases that have, that have occurred or you have got are suffering from after you bought the policy you have nothing to worry about you can absolutely relax uh, you don't need to keep your insurer updated as per any policy document. You don't need to keep your insurer updated about diseases that have got diagnosed after you basically bought the policy. So if there is a disease that you're declaring, uh, which happened after you bought the policy in your uh, the form that you have to fill when you get vaccinated, you don't have to worry about it. It's absolutely simple. What if I remember an old health condition which I was suffering from and I missed mentioning it in my uh, uh, a policy, pro policy proposal form or application form, I missed informing my insurer and now when I'm taking a vaccine, I am writing about it. Now, this is where things get complicated, right? Uh, you should uh, basically ensure that you're declaring everything and anything about your health condition, about your lifestyle to an insurer when you buy the policy. You should ensure that you've over informed an insurer but you should in not make any misses about leaving any information about you or your family when you're buying a policy. So in this case, specific case where let's say I had diabetes since 2009, I bought the policy in 2012 uh, and I did not mention that I had let's say diabetes or thyroid and now when I'm buying, I'm basically going for the vaccination, I'm 
informing about this disease right and i need to inform when since when i have the disease and it's let's say since 2005 before i bought the policy in this case it's very simple you need to come out clear with your insurance company inform the insurance company that yes this was a miss from your side there are chances yes of course that the insurer could cancel your policy the insurer could uh, you know uh, not continue with the relationship but it is sincerely and honestly that is better than having a policy which has ifs and buts and you have issues at the time of claims it's better to start with a clean slate talk to a new insurer give all your declarations and have a policy which you can cover get covered for a lifetime hassle free and you don't have issues with your claim so come out clean if you feel that you have missed something and in, inform your insurer asap so that you, there is no totally no problems no issues no hassles in the long term for you and your family with respect to claims what if there are serious reactions that happen with uh, uh, me or my family taking a vaccine and I need to get hospitalized is that covered under health insurance so in this case it's very very clear that uh, an IIDA came out with a, a very very uh, simple and straightforward guideline around this that in case there is a hospitalization that is required then as per the policy conditions uh, you will be covered for any kind of adverse reaction to a vaccination now what is this as per policy conditions is what I will try to explain you quickly uh, it basically means that let's say if I am getting vaccinated and I I have some adverse reaction which can be treated at home right it does not require hospitalization that definitely won't be covered but if I have an adverse reaction and the doctor basically recommends that I am supposed to be kept in a hospital and I should be treated in the hospital then that will be covered under your health insurance policy so typically three things are looked at when a hospitalization is covered or not covered whether a doctor is recommending a, a hospitalization for you second whether the standard clinical protocol as per the local guidelines or as per the you know national level guidelines uh, recommend a hospitalization for the specific scenario that you are going through and the third is that is there an active treatment that is going to go on in the hospital that requires you to be in the hospital if these three things are basically uh, all having a check on them then definitely the hospitalization is necessary and if the hospitalization is necessary then as per the IIDA clarification it will be covered under your health insurance so you can absolutely relax agar hospitalization zaruri hai aapko aapki policy mein adverse reaction ke liye cover milega agar hospitalization zaruri nahi hai and you could have got treated in at your home or somewhere else then <clears throat> then the, uh, your health insurance won't cover it. I think this is a good enough thing that uh, uh, we are getting along with the policy. Hospitalization is not then why do you need a cover in your health insurance policy which is essentially a, a hospitalization cover. I hope you have covered all the points regarding uh, you know people having questions around uh, vaccination and the after effects and the declaration that you are supposed to make before you take a vaccine. In case you have any further questions please write to us on our Beshak forum at beshak.org slash forum or you could ask us questions in the comment section please do subscribe to our channel uh, for such more such videos in the future that impact you and your existing policies also you can hit the bell icon in case you need notifications thank you very much bye bye